Hello guys. This time we are going to solve quadratic equations by quadratic formula. Before using the quadratic formula, see to it first that the given quadratic equation is written in standard form. And the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Once it is in standard form, then get the values of a, b, and c. a is the numerical coefficient of the first term, b is the numerical coefficient of the second term, and c is the third term. Now, and this is the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a wherein your b is the numerical coefficient of the second term, your a is the numerical coefficient of the first term, and your c is the third term. In the given two equations here, this is the first equation, x squared equals negative 7x minus 12, and the second equation, 3x squared minus 9x, equals 12. Taking the first equation. In the first equation, the terms are not arranged in its standard form. So we have to rearrange all the terms. We have x squared. Then negative 7x is transferred to the left side becomes positive 7x. The negative 12 is also transferred to the left side. It becomes positive 12. And nothing is left at the right side, so it is 0. So the resulting equation is x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. This is now in standard form. After writing the equation in standard form, get the values of a, then b, and C. So for A, the numerical coefficient of the first term is 1, so it is 1. For B, the numerical coefficient of the second term is positive 7, so, and C, which is the third term, is 12. So we have now the values. A is 1, B is 7, C is 12. After getting all the values, then use the quadratic formula we have since the variable here is x so we are going to write x x equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so x now equals Substituting, we have negative and b is positive 7 plus and minus the square root of b is 7, 7 squared minus 4, a is 1, and c is 12 all over 2. A is 1. So, simplifying, negative times positive 7 is negative 7 plus and minus the square root of 7 squared is 49. Then, negative times positive times positive is negative. 4 times 1 is 4 times 12 is 48. All over 2 times 1 is 2. Then, x now equals so x now equals negative 7 
plus n minus the square root of 49 minus 48 is the square root of 1 all over 2. So x now equals negative 7 plus n minus the square root of 1 is 1 all over 2 using the plus sign. So x equals negative 7 plus 1 all over 2. x is equal to negative 7 plus 1. The signs are different, so subtract the numbers. 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 is greater than 1, so get the sign of 7, which is negative. Then over 2. So x now equals negative divided by positive is negative. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So one of the roots is negative 3. Then using the minus sign. Then x equals negative 7 minus 1 all over 2. x now equals negative 7, negative 1 is negative 8 over 2. x is equal to negative 4. So these are now the roots of the equation x squared minus 7x minus 12 equals 0 we have negative 3 and negative 4. How do we know that these roots are correct? That this negative 3 and negative 4 are correct? So let's do the checking. When x is negative 3, use the original equation x squared equals negative 7x minus 12 this is question mark so substituting negative 3 to x so negative 3 squared equals negative 7 times negative 3 minus 12 negative 3 times negative 3 is Positive 9 equals negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21 minus 12. So 9 equals 21 minus 12 is 9. So 9 is equal to 9. In other words, negative 3 here satisfies the quadratic equation x squared equals negative 7x minus 12. So this root here is correct. Let's try another root. Okay, how do we know that x which is negative 4 is correct? So let's try. When x is negative 4. Substituting to the original equation, x squared equals negative 7x, negative 12. Then, the value of x, which is 4, is substitute to x. Negative 4 squared equals negative 7 times negative 4 minus 12. So, this is question mark, question mark. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Equals negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28 minus 12. So 16 equals 28 minus 12 is 16. And this is correct. So in other words, the root which is x equals negative 4 satisfies the equation x squared minus 7x minus 12. So, the two roots here, x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 4 are correct. Another equation is solving quadratic equation by quadratic formula. We have 3x squared minus 9x equals 12. 
This equation is not in standard form. So, rearranging the terms, thus making now 3x squared minus 9x. Then, 12 here is transferred to the left side. Positive 12 crosses the equal sign. It becomes negative 12. Then, nothing is left at the right side, so it is 0. So, this is now the standard form of a quadratic equation. Wherein, your a, which is the numerical coefficient of the first term, which is positive 3. Then, b, which is the numerical coefficient of the second term, which is negative 9. And c is the third term, which is the constant, which is negative 12. So, these are the values. So, writing the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. x is used here because the variable in the given equation is x. So, not all the time x is used. It depends on the variable in the given equation. If the variable is y, then y is used here. Okay, let's continue. Substituting now the values of a, b, and c. So we have negative. And b is also negative 9. Then plus and minus the square root of b is negative 9. Negative 9 squared minus 4, A is 3, times C is negative 12, all over 2 times 3. Then X now, negative times negative 9 is positive 9, plus and minus. The square root of negative 9 squared is positive 81. Negative times negative is positive. 4 times 3 is 12. Times 12 is positive 144. All over 2 times 3 is 6. Then, x equals 9 plus and minus the square root of 81 plus 144 is 225 over 6. X equals 9 plus and minus the square root of 225 is 15 all over 6. Using the plus sign, X equals 9 plus 15 over 6 x now equals 9 plus 15 is 24 over 6 x is equal to 4 using minus sign x equals 9 minus 15 over 6 x equals 9 minus 15 is 6, 15 is greater than 9, so negative 15, so this is negative 6 over 6, x now is equal to negative 1. These are now the roots of the given quadratic equation, 3x squared minus 9x equals 12. How do we know that these roots are correct? Then let's do the checking. when x is 4. Use the original equation. <clears throat> 3x squared minus 9x equals 12. Question mark. Then 3 times the value of x is 4. Then squared minus 9 times 4 equals 12. <clears throat> 3 4 squared is 16. 
negative times positive is negative. 36, 9 times 4 is 36, equals 12. 3 times 16 is 48, minus 36, equals 12. So 48 minus 36 is 12, equals 12. In other words, the value at the left side equals the value at the right side. So, the root, which is 4, is correct. Another, when x is negative 1. Substituting 3x squared minus 9x equals 12. This is the original equation. Substituting the value of x, which is negative 1, 3 times negative 1 squared minus 9 times negative 1 equals 12. Question mark. 3 negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9 equals 12. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 9 equals 12. So 12 equals 12. And this is correct because the left side of the equation equals the right side of the equation. So in other words, the roots that we have, which are positive 4 and negative 1, are correct.